Today's question comes from YouTube subscriber June. Thank you, June. And the question is, what's the difference between love and codependency? This is a good one because sometimes people say, you know, if I were a little bit more loving, then maybe they wouldn't treat me this way. Uh, maybe I'm not being loving when I point out the areas in which they can grow. What's the difference and what's the balance? There is a balance, but let me give you the short answer to that question, and it goes like this. You ready? Love does not mean putting up with stuff that hurts. Let me say that one more time. Love does not mean putting up with stuff that hurts. That's really the whole thing. But I'll give you a little bit more in-depth response. Love just loves. That's all it does. Other feelings, other emotions, other stuff might be involved. Sometimes fear gets wrapped up in it, but that's not love. Sometimes ego cries and laments and stays up all night, but that's not love either. Love just loves. And when you come from a place of pure love, you tell the truth. And you expect the truth. And you try to live the truth of your being. When you love somebody, you see past appearances. Maybe you've heard that expression, a face only a mother could love. Because when you love something, you see past the way that things are and you see into pure potentiality. And so when you really love someone, yeah, you don't get hung up on appearances. You see within, you see not just what is, but what can be. And by insisting upon that level of beauty, that level of truth, that level of love, you bring that quality out in yourself and in that thing that you love. And so part of what that means is when you love somebody, you're allowed to say, you know what, the way that you're treating me isn't the best and highest. I know better about you. I know that you can do better because I can see it inside of you. And I'm not going to put up with less than what I deserve and less than what you deserve from yourself. That's real love. Sometimes people say, you know, I'm, I'm going to be so loving that I'm not going to point out the areas in which that person can grow. But the truth is that's not love at all. That's not very honest. And if nothing else, love tells the truth. So tell the truth. Tell it lovingly. You're allowed to say, you know what? I love you so much that I am not going to put up with this crappy behavior. I love you so much that I demand you treat me the way that I deserve to be treated and that you treat yourself according to your best and highest. I know better about you. I see better about you. Stand up for what's true. And here's the, the catch. When you talk that way and you think that way and you live that way, you got to hold yourself accountable too. What's the most loving thing you can say and do and think? What's the real truth about you? How can you live up to your potential just a little bit more today? How can you stand up for what's true just a little bit more today? Sometimes when you give a relationship or a job or whatever it is, the full focus of your love, you can begin to heal that relationship. You can find a new level of expression, a new kind of friendship and partnership and so on. And sometimes when you give it your full honesty, you realize, you know what, this relationship, this job, this thing isn't for me. It doesn't match up. But now I know because I've been honest and I can move on in healthier directions. One way or another, you deserve truth. The people in your life deserve your honesty. This world deserves your love. And love is a power that sees and love is a power that moves. Thanks for moving on with me. Thanks for sending me these questions. Thanks for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Thanks for telling everybody. Take care of yourself.